welcome to the channel. Your number one entertainment resource six years running. Get ready for a new dynamic. And hold on to your butts. It's going to be a fucking ride. I thought it'd always be cool to be a radio host. Hello. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Exactly. Well, prepare to be enlightened. Enjoy this enlightening moment with Free Dog. Not everyone's cut out for bigger and better things. This has been an enlightening moment with Free Dog. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cyberdan Plays Fallout 3. Um, in the previous episode, we we met 3Dog, and uh, yeah, he's got a nice little radio broadcast thing over here. Um, and he gave us a little bit of information, so let's continue trying to find our pop. And um, <laughs> our very British father, who... Uh, welcome to the GNR Garrison. Thank you. Mr. Wilkes. Um, Let's see the super mutants try and take this place now. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, very British father. Uh, I guess that's one good way to explain why we don't talk. <laughs> Unless, you know, I don't think they could. I mean, if, if they looked for a British actor to do all the voiceover. I still don't think they would, because, um, you know, ah, there are so many dialogue choices, and uh, <laughs> that amount of voiceover would probably take a lifetime. Or not a lifetime, but too long. It, by the time they would be complete, um, all the recording would be complete. I'm guessing the game would be outdated. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, the Fallout TV show, and uh, yeah, I, I I keep getting giving it a chance, and uh, I don't know, it suddenly doesn't it doesn't click with me, and um, part of that is um, I always whenever I play any of the Fallout games, I get a sense of. Um, Oh, this is a real world. This is um, real situations. I mean, obviously, fake characters, all that, all that stuff. And um, only with the show, it's it's like the people are real, but they aren't acting like humans. <laughs> they are. Um, uh, s some characters are just really reactionary um, when they shouldn't be. And then I kind of get what the vault dwellers um especially the ones in vault 33 uh i i get that they're supposed to be um kind of like a nurtured group like they would never really been on the surface that kind of thing but um aside from that i, I don't like, there are people on the surface that just don't make sense the way they're written um uh there was a uh, maximus right and um like of course, he has his entire storyline with the Brotherhood of Steel. We have to find out how to get to our next location. <laughs> um, oh, okay, we're going back through Faragut. But we have to get, get to Rivet City. Can we actually jump there from here? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, but yeah, the thing is, I don't know why they write Maximus the way they do. Um, and also, where's our friend? Oh, did he just die? Did he, like, disappear? Hold on, maybe he's over here. I don't remember exactly where he was stationed. <laughs> um, so if we... No, I think he's just straight up gone. What the hell? All right. Well, no water for him then. Um, but as I was saying about Maximus, it, there is... I don't know if the show writers really want... Oh, it looks like uh, YouTube cut us off again for some stupid reason. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Um, 
Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know what they were, um, what the intention, like, what they wanted people to think about Maximus, like, for the viewing audience, that is. Um, because I, <laughs> if they want people to like him, that's, it's becoming increasingly difficult to do as the series um, moves on. I'm only into episode five right now. Um, but yeah, it, it just, he seems like a really immoral character that um, like it, it, they might be going for a um, redemption arc kind of thing, but he only seems to be getting worse. <laughs> and um, there isn't much season left from what I've, um, you know, I've been watching. So, I don't know where they could do what they could do. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, and maybe they will. Um, they'll be able to pull it off at the end. But I don't know. The only person I can really invest any uh, um, anything into is Lucy, and um, well, I, even you know uh, our ghoul friend, <laughs> played by. Um, uh, Walton Goggins, who's amazing in the show, I have to say. The acting, his acting is amazing. Um, Lucy's is not bad. But, um, yeah, I, oof, a lot of characters, hard to, hard to invest in, <laughs> you know? Is there a problem? A little bit. Um, I'm kind of lost. No, 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 not that. Uh, let's see. I heard you're some, oh, do we? I don't think so. Um, aren't we supposed to get... Uh, Carry on, then. We're supposed to get some information with somebody else, though. I think. Are they just on a different level? Well, I guess we'll talk to Is Artemis. Is there a problem? Okay, I heard you ha you're on some sort of council. City council. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. What kind of citywide issues? informal. <laughs> the council doesn't have much real power. And it's not really much of a city, it's a kind of a boat. So, uh, how much issues do you have here? Um, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Okay, thank you for that. Um, oh, that completed that, okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we, we aren't really lost. Um, why did you just... <laughs> why did you all decide to live on this rusty old tub? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Um, you let me in without a second glance, but... Uh, again, give him, give him the benefit of the doubt. Carry on, then. Okay. Thank you for your help. Um, I'm onward to find Dr. Lee... She apparently has information I need about good old dad dad. Hello. Nice to see you. Hi. Charmed to meet you. I'm Vera Weatherly of the Weatherly Hotel. Ooh. You have a hotel here? Really? <laughs> um, how much for a room? No, it's, it's, it's not that, uh, you know, <laughs> that's not supposed to be a romantic thing. <laughs> um, have you heard any, any interesting gossip? Why should I tell you? You'll just tell everyone else. A uh, good point. <laughs> uh, you should not trust anyone, especially me. Um, so what's your story, or what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. Ah. She's smart, though. Real smart. Real smart. Excellent. So are there any fun rumors flying around Rivet City? <laughs> can we, ask, we can ask again. Great. You haven't Ooh. heard? <laughs> Angela has the hots for Diego. Nice. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> other rumors. We we're going to keep digging. Why should I tell you? Ah. You'll just tell everyone else. Again, true. <laughs> um, what's it like living in a giant on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. I imagine. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. Yet. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. <laughs> that, it might be a pipe dream. <laughs> Good, uh, have a nice day, Vera. 
Farewell. Goodbye. Uh, you probably don't see a lot of people walk in here with a nice suit on. Are you looking at me? I wasn't. Hello. Now I am. Shrapnel. Odd fellow. Okay, so where would Dr. Lee be? The No, that's Weatherly Hotel. In fact, you know, while we're here, take a look. Inside a book. Reading Rainbow. Uh, Bannon's door. I think I made that joke before, too. Damn. I need new material. <laughs> Hello. What are you looking at? You. Have a nice day, Flack. All right. Hi. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Why are your eyes glowing like Harrison Ford's in Blade Runner? That's... See a doctor, sir. <laughs> um, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's some sort of genius. You Ooh. know, one of those egghead scientist types. He sounds like Her a robot, is too. The stern end of the ship. Oh, my. Um, like to report someone? We can actually do that, huh? <laughs> I heard that Rivet City is run by some sort of council. We already talked to Harkness about this, right? But, yeah, let's let's go ahead and find out more. Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. Oh, yeah, we already it's knew It's a waste this. of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Good idea. Later. Later. This is CNN. All right, cool. Oh, here we go. Hello, Roboman. Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. Buckingham. Like the palace? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> what do you have to eat? Nah. Uh, what's your... <laughs> Who's your owner, Russ Bucket? I serve Miss Vera Weatherly, proprietor Ooh. of the Weatherly Hotel. Oh, my. But it's any of your business. My business. Well, you have a nice day. Yes, sir. You can... You can yo, move on. Move along. Proceed with your day. I want to take a look around. <laughs> and uh, it would be difficult to uh, peruse with you staring at me. Well, we're hidden now. I need a key. Ah! <laughs> Don't look! <laughs> uh, he knows. Moving on. We're just going to find Dr. Lee. We can worry about Vera's locker later. Why? Oh. The market is, um, <laughs> after hours right now, I guess. Let's see. Locked very easy? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Karma, uh, tra trading karma for experience. Not, not outside my, uh, pay grade. Ooh. Uh, let's close the door. Just in case somebody notices. Ah, lock easy. A good way to uh, farm some experience. And get some stuff. A cup. Fantastic. Ah. Uh-oh. I, okay, somebody's sleeping in another room, and I just, <laughs> I thought it was in this room for some reason. I thought I was going crazy. All right, energy cells, not bad. Level up. <laughs> okay. Okay, lockpick is fine. We can get this up to 75. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. And then, what do we want to do here? Um, you know, when I, you know, try to get a few of these at max. Um, well, uh, leave barter at 50. I think that's good enough. Um, 75 for repair. We're going to work on science, I think. So let's just bring that up to 30 and then... Um, We'll put uh, small guns at 44. Keep everything that way. Um, okay. Ah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Can we put something into a 
point into something that gives us a, a bonus to science. Speech and barter. Um, da, 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 da. Get an extra 30 points to speech. Holy crap. Partial med mediation. Crazy. Uh, oh. Oh, but we have to be maintain a neutral karma, karma level? No, no, thank you. Um, so that's the end of there. Let's see. Um, okay. Sneak and lockpick. That's right. Melee and explosives. All right. Might just do more intense training. Let me think about this. Ah, uh, here we go. Five points to both science and med medicine. Medicine. Blech. Um. And there's no downside to it. So we're going to do Daddy's Boy. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and get to a little bit more experience while we're here. And then we'll um, take a look around and uh, find Dr. Lee. First things first. Keep looking. Looking through. <laughs> this is sister's room, huh? Ah. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Don't like to break lock picks like that. She's she's asleep though, huh? Oh, it was in the opposite room. Got it. Take a look in here. Oh, 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 ah. oh <laughs> slip of the finger. Oh my. All right, what do you got? Darts, pre-war money, sure. Hollow tape. Assignment from the Commonwealth. All right then. I can't imagine that would be important, but we can take a look at it later. In fact, I might even look at it in just a few minutes. If I remember right, you can just okay here. you can just load the lot. Of, uh, Don't get any ideas. I, I I I won't. I will. Um. <laughs> but I uh, we can probably load the hollow type tape into our um, Pip Boy, right? Let's um, do a little bit of uh, investigating here. Luckily, he can turn his back and uh, <laughs> be none the wiser here. What the heck? Uh, shells, thank you. I don't know why you'd keep those in the filing cabinet, but I won't. <laughs> uh, I won't judge. Stop, thief! What? Oh, hi. You don't look hurt. What can I do for you? Um, you could forget I was here. <laughs> um, uh, can you heal my... Oh, are we even low on... Or, uh, off on radiation? Or, like, uh... In a generally dangerous zone on that? Let's see. Here we go. Radiation. We are at 215. And, uh... Okay, we can only max it at 1,000, so... Maybe we can. You don't look hurt. Let's see. Could I... Could you heal it for me? Sure can. Quick and easy. Only 100 caps. Uh, go ahead, Doc. And a quick shot. All done. Thank you very much. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> uh, the advancements of modern medicine. So, um... I need medical supplies. Sure thanks. Here's what I have. Excellent. We can even sell some stuff. If I re remember right, you can actually sell, uh, like, pretty much anything to anybody. So, yeah. We're going to sell... Let's see. Um, not, the, not the survival guide. We worked too hard for that. Um, let's see. Ra railway spikes, sure. And then energy cells for sure. Microfusion cells, absolutely. Da, 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 darts, don't need those. Uh, don't need those at all. Um, let's see here. Okay, weapons. Do we need to unload anything? I don't think so. We can only sell one of our assault rifles. <laughs> we don't need to repair it too much, so yeah. Then we'll go ahead and grab some medics. Rat away for sure. Five of those. And some stim packs. In fact, I might just get ten. How much do we have at the moment? 
Yeah, 57. So that's a lot. Um, sell some dirty water. Um, the Ventats haven't been really uh, a whole lot of help. So uh, sell purified water. It's only taking up space right now. And yeah, that looks fine. Okay. So, uh, he doesn't, oh, he does, no. <laughs> what am I thinking? He doesn't have am, uh, ammunition. It's a doctor. Uh, there we go. Good Another enough for me. Another satisfied customer. Absolutely. Take care of yourself. I will. Okay, you, you aren't angry, right? About the thievery thing? Good to see you. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Okay, good. I'm just making sure. <laughs> uh, sorry, Doc. I should have checked if he was in there to begin with. Then again, he might have just walked in and I just didn't notice. Okay, let's uh, be careful here. Wait. Door isn't going to give us any experience. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. All right. Uh, that's fine. Well, th these guys aren't going to budge, so uh, Young's door. Bandit store. Experience. <laughs> All right. That didn't take any karma away, strangely enough. Is Bannon a baddie? Don't know. But we have this. We can, uh, we can hack now. Um, some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Uh, selecting the correct password will grant you access. If you guess it is in, oh, if your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password in in the correct location. I know all this, but you know, you, you gotta say some things. Um, you have four tries to guess it correctly. If you fail, the terminal will be re will remain inaccessible until you get to own the password. Um, you can exit hacking at any time and try again. Got it. Okay, so this is um, this is funny. Like this is a funny mini mini game because um, like I said before, like it, it gave us the rundown. But what I like to do is I do three guesses, then I back out and I try again if I didn't succeed already. So benefit one of seven. So let's see. I'm gonna guess maybe it, no, it wouldn't be the B because it, it, it that would be two letters B E. Um, we're gonna go, maybe, oh, maybe it's this. No, not Bastion. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing it probably is the B. Um, what else do we have here? Leaders. We already tried benefits. Huh. Okay, so maybe it is not the B. That I'm looking at here. Um. Hmm. Okay, so if it's not the B, it could be. Uh. Da, 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 da. What could it be if it's not the <laughs> if it's not the B? That's interesting. Well, let's go with three. Oh wow, six of seven. Hearing. Uh. Okay, so <laughs> this should be. Uh, dead giveaway so um let's see here uh, beat not beating no uh, handgun selling no okay hearing that means only one le letters off so what what am, why why am i um blanking on this heading yes excuse me oh great I, I was absolutely sure of that. Um, let's let's actually try that again. I don't know why I messed that up so bad. Okay, that's fine. We don't we didn't lose much lot, much progress here. In fact, al almost none. <laughs> so Bannon's door. That is. Kind of caught me off guard. What else could it have been? I'm going to have to look back at the footage later. All right. 
Yoink. All right, let's see. It's going to obviously change this time. Start with that. Okay, absolutely nothing there. So, um, let's see. Pouring. Da -da -da -da. Manages. That's not a good start at all. In fact, it's pretty bad. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Remains. Oh, the only two. Okay, we're going to back out and uh, back in. And, uh, yeah, I guess the... Uh, the karma does stack like that. <laughs> karma drop. Harmful, no. Halberd. Oh, okay, that was lucky. <laughs> Alrighty. What do, what's this guy have to hide? Uh, view agenda of uh, <laughs> Mr. Bannon. Agenda for next council meeting. Fence on the flight deck. Taxes, gate tax, water tax. Weapons Contribution Program. Odd. Okay, uh, da -da, into attendance. Madison Lee, Bannon, and Harkness. That's all, huh? Very sm consolidated gathering, kind of, in a way. Um, the bridge repair continues to, to be a drain on the funds. Permanent bridge considered, but dismissed as too risky in case of attack. Bridge tax for non-residents proposed by Bannon. Vote fails. Well, <laughs> do you only have the three voting? Is that how it, how it works? Uh, hydroponics and city health continues well, thanks to the efforts of Dr. Lee and her scientific team. However, system breakdowns are commonplace, requiring much maintenance. I, I imagine a lot of things will require much maintenance. It, it wouldn't be just that. Um, Lee proposed recruiting other scientific minds from Tenpenny Tower or Underworld. Vote fails. Hmm. You guys can't get any, anything passed. <laughs> and what's Underworld? We've been to Tenpenny Tower. I'm going to have to look that up. Attempts to clear out the Myra Lurk infestation in Down Below continue as usual. Harkness and his team, Harkness and team, is unable to contain them. And occasionally wipe them out, but they continue to nest in the area, posing a theoretical risk if they ever turn aggressive towards higher decks. Now let's hope they never do that then. I'm, I'm guessing this place is going to get overrun <laughs> sooner than later. Bannon suggests closing off lower deck four, but fails. <laughs> Can they get anything passed? My goodness, there are only three of them. Funds and ammunition allocation for my earlier cleaning operation proposed by Harkness vote passes. Well, good for you. You got, you got something through. Dr. Lee leaves early to oversee hydroponics testing. Meeting adjourned. All right. Well, that didn't get us anywhere. <laughs> but uh, it was good knowledge, I, I guess. Don't want to sit in the ruined chair. Does he have anything good in here? Oh, wait. He obviously doesn't. All right, we can head back now. Kind of curious where um, Dr. Lee is. Is she down below? Take a look. Uh, St. Monica's Church and Science Lab. That is definitely where Dr. Lee would be. Hmm. The Muddy Rudder. All right. Ah, locked. Something valuable in here? <laughs> oh, that's right. We're not smart enough. <laughs> everything Hi. looks okay here does it now everything looks like shit to me but yeah, you do you oh yes <laughs> wait no were we hidden all right i guess it doesn't matter because we're gonna wait until you pass all right hidden okay <laughs> had to be sure didn't want to Irritate anybody. I'm lucky they don't hear that. Oh. Well, uh, detected? By who? By what? Oh, hidden now? Okay. <laughs> now we can do something with this. A little bit further, come on. Good. Not bad. Take her stuff. Who detects me? 
They're both asleep. You have to back up a little bit. What what's going on here? I'd hate to use a um What's going on? I hate to use a stealth boy, but still, it's it might not even be worth it. <laughs> Probably isn't. Let's go. You back there? No. All right. All right. Do unlock door already. Uh, somebody coming out? Oh, hello. Contelli. Hey there. Ah, Contelli. No. <laughs> uh, hi. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. It's... It all comes full circle, bud. Uh, you shouldn't take that stuff. It'll kill you. Also, give me all your psycho. That's what Cindy says, too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> um, gotta run. Yeah, me too. No, I don't think you should. You should probably stay right here. <laughs> Tamper with that, and we're gonna have a problem. What? <laughs> You're gonna lose your fix, Cindy. <clears throat> the, the psycho's everywhere. What's wrong with you? Uh, okay. Want to do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho. Uh, no. You're the psycho. I, I don't. You guys need help. I'm not going to deal with you right now. Okay. <laughs> Let's find uh, Dr. Lee. Science lab. Just what we were looking for. Alright. Might as well save. Hmm? The most advanced scientific center in the capital wasteland. I find your... Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe Gosh. you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Don't, Don't you talk like that to Hans Zimmer. Else. Fine. But I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Science. Time is wasting. Is it? Gotta make a new um, score? You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. It, what gave it are away? Are you by any chance for hire? Ooh. Um, I'm listening, which isn't an answer, but sure. <laughs> this could be an opportunity of a lifetime for you. Ooh. I've misplaced some very sensitive property, and you will help me find it. You're assuming a lot. Um, what kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? You All you son know of a bitch. All you know of robots <laughs> are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed Droids. to think and feel and do whatever we need. Oh my. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. You're talking about replicants. Um, tell me what you want. Isn't it quite clear? You are to locate my android. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or Ooh. else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. 
Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Find Harrison Ford. He might be able to help you out. Um, <laughs> we do want money. So is your wallet as big as your mouth? How quaint. Of course you'll be rewarded. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. That's not I'd be money. I'd to share some of it with you. Just think. You'll be the envy of all your friends. Um, okay. I'll bite. Excellent. Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Ah, no added missing android. I'm going to take a look at this note because, um, uh, if he's mocking you, I can get him for trolling. Of course you do. Awesome. Hey. Hey. Hey there. Hey. Uh, I'm looking for my dad. Have you seen him? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Really? Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? it seems like the only person bothering you is Zimmer. <laughs> you're, you're, you say <laughs> that's all you deal with. Like, there's a whole paparazzi core down here. Um, is Dr. Lee as smart as they sh say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. Uh, are you calling everybody else stupid? If so, I'm, uh, I'm down. Um, let's see. What do you know about Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Really? Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Yeah, I heard. Um... Yeah, we only need Bye. to worry about drinks. So, for now, um, got our task from Zimmer. Let's see. You got Dr. Look, Lee. this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. Uh, You're James's son, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, I don't want to guess, but... How exactly do I look so much like him? Because <laughs> I, I, I somewhat doubt that's the case. But, I mean, he was cross-eyed last time I saw him. Um, have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. Are you I'm really Dr. my Madison mother? Lee. I worked <laughs> with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. Well, the answer to that. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have Whatever. to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Well, that's too bad. Um, <laughs> do you know where he is? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. A lot of the things you're saying... I, I can't say for sure, but... Are you just contradicting yourself in a lot of different areas here? I assumed he sent you here. Are you, you were supposed to be in a vault. Get, get your story straight, ma'am. Please. Um, <laughs> screw the vault. I'm not staying cooped up in there. I see. Yes. So you decided to leave one of the safest places in the wasteland, even though it was in your best interest to stay. Hm. Sounds familiar. What, you well, did I'm it too? your father is no longer here. Great. Uh, please tell me where he's gone. Or, and stop wasting my time and tell me, tell me where he is. We're a jerk. Well, I don't know where he is. The last I knew, he was going back to the old lab. Now, will you kindly leave? I have work to do. Mm, excellent. Thanks for nothing. Um, oh, wait. But tell us where the lab is first. Then, then get lost. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told your father. Don't go. Uh, Whatever's not going to work. It isn't worth it anymore. <laughs> Just like before. The project was abandoned. We gave up. There's no reason to go back. Great. If my father is there, I need to go after him. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here, along the river. Well, thank it's you. It's not a safe place, and I wouldn't recommend going alone. As I said, I told your father not to go. Yeah. Yeah, you said. Um, great. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck finding your father. Great. Gosh, everybody here is a dick. 
Um, except for, I believe Vera was fairly nice. I, I, we haven't actually you know, spent a lot of time getting to know her, so she very well could be an asshole too. We're going to have to find out. So, um, can tell his story. Oh, no. No. Not him. The druggie. Hello. Everything looks okay here. Good. You're not good. You guys aren't worried that I, all the doors have been unlocked forcefully. <laughs> okay. We could probably take a short stop at the, um, the market. I guess not. Not yet. But, um, you know what? What we're going to do, um, unfortunately, since uh, I don't want to do a whole lot when it, we're not live, and YouTube does like to cut us off very often, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to cut the episode here. Um, in the next episode, we'll go down to the market, get some uh, replenish our supplies, and then um, go find our dad at uh, the Jefferson Memorial. So, um, cool. Cool. I want to thank you all for watching. This has been another episode of Cyber Dan Plays Fallout 3. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great night, everyone.